Hey guys, this is a special video because in this video we are going to take a look at One UI 7 which is based on Android 15 on your Galaxy S8, S8 Plus and the Note 8. So without wasting any more time, let's take a look at it. So guys, this is the One UI 7 which is the latest offering by Samsung to its Samsung devices, the smart devices and this is an unofficial port uh, on our Galaxy S8, S8 Plus and Note 8. So as you can see, one year version 7, Android version 15 and we have the latest 1 January 2025 security patch. As you can see, Android version 15, we also do get the Android 15 Easter egg. So guys, let's start with the lock screen first. So this is a lock screen and this is a new style as you can see the animation. For that, you have to press on the long screen, uh, lock screen, long press. Unlock it if you have set a lock and tap the clock go to style and here we get two new animation uh, animated clock styles and you can set that you can also choose to show the date above clock and also show weather information if you want that this is the default font and style which has been used with the clock style and as you can see you can change the font and color of this uh, there are a lot of uh, fonts here as you can see uh, these are the fonts you can change you can also choose if it has to be thin or bold and then you can also choose these colors which uh, would look great on your AMOLED screen if you have set a darker wallpaper so yeah let's set this done and this is how it looks okay let's get done again it will refresh and it will show this like this on the lock screen for the animated clock styles you cannot set any color and font differences but yeah for the regular clock uh, clock styles you can set your font and color now let's take a look at the home screen and this is the home screen the app drawer as you can see we get some new icons here and also the widget is kind of different the weather widget and we have these new icons as you can see into the app drawer we get the phone store contacts gallery camera settings all new one ui 7 icons and they look great like samsung has finally changed the icons and we also do get icons for calculator clock and calendar but these are available only on the one ui 7 apps which are the updated apps which were not present here i just downloaded them from the play store I thought the app icons would automatically apply but no they were only specific with the updated apps so yeah if you get the updated apps from somewhere you can install it on this rom now guys let's take a look at the quick settings now if you pull the quick settings from the left hand side then you will see uh, the all the notification counter and you also have the notification settings bar you can check that out later and if you Pull it down from the right and you will get all the quick setting icons and the ui is also changed with the quick settings as you can see if you see the one ui 6 previously you now you have this expanded uh, ui then it will also uh one second it will also hide the font uh, sorry not the font the title of the icons and as you can see the brightness bar you have this uh, uh, dark mode setting right in here and you can easily enable and disable dark mode and you have this quick widgets play music smart things and smart view right under here you cannot de delete or uh, like remove them but yeah you can edit all these icons whatever icons you need and you can just change it you can also bring the music bar up of the uh, quick settings if you need that but yeah for me this is good because you can uh, like edit it from here oh, sorry it's kind of weird yeah as you can see this is how you can edit it you can also bring the bar the brightness bar and the volume bar up quick settings down and you can just get it all the way down to so the ui will look like this for you so there's a few changes in the status bar that now the clock font is a bit different and also bolder and we get a new battery icon uh, the on the status bar so it looks really nice and a lot of change has been done it has been turned into landscape and the font and it just goes great uh, and also as you can see if i can zoom it that a bit and that's how it looks and looks really nice also we get a new battery charging animation which i am going to talk about later so quite a good change samsung is making to the ui now also guys if you want to check if wi-fi and volt is available then you have to expand or you know pull down the quick settings and then you can check the quick settings bar also the carrier label is available in the quick settings in the left or corner top now guys let's move into the settings and see what settings we get 
and this is the settings UI a bit similar to the one UI 6 but a lot of changes to the icons and the layout has been done as you can see it has been categorized differently than the uh, one UI 6 and looks really nice to me uh, let's check some uh, settings quickly into connections uh, we have the same options in here sim manager and you can see you can manage sims also we have an add eSIM option which our Galaxy S8 does not support so yeah just uh, let's stay away from that and let's get back we have connected devices and you have uh, the same settings from one ui6 nothing has changed you get the galaxy ai we have a lot of features here call assist writing assist samsung notes recorder samsung internet and these all will require the specific apps then we have photo assist drawing assist and photo ambient wallpaper and this are going to you know enhance your experience so yeah you can check these ai features later on in modes and routines you can set modes and routines this was also present in the one ui6 also maybe in the one ui4 and yes all of these features are uh, literally the same if you check then dark mode uh, as you can see we have the dark mode scheduling is also here we have adaptive color tone which you can use but i don't know if it works well on the galaxy asset because there is an issue with the camera which i'll be talking about later then uh, we have uh, the screen mode and you can you know set it to vivid or natural also configure the white balance getting down we have the screen resolution and you can set it to a lower versions if you want to save some battery then we have screen timeout up to 10 minutes and uh, we have the regular modes, easy mode, touch sensitivity. All these are like the regular stuff and wallpapers and style. Like the wallpapers, the default wallpapers are not that much. Like it does not make, you know, that much attraction to me. But into gallery, we can see uh, we have two wallpapers which I have downloaded as the S25 wallpapers. You guys can check that out. I have the link for them in the description and I have said this wallpaper and configured it a bit you can configure the wallpapers too uh, let's get back themes we have home screen then lock screen and aod and always on display also works fine so as you can see that's how it looks and then just open it and the animation is so far so quick we also get the now, uh, now bar uh, right now i don't have anything to test the now bar on but yeah i'll put out a story on the instagram with the now bar and the uh, charging animation the new charging animation so please follow me on instagram to check that i will put that out there then getting down security and privacy so the option has got hanged okay here we are inside as you can see check your samsung account lost device and all i have to enable so if you want to enable you can enable those features then yeah just the normal features advanced features we have smart suggestions maybe some ai based suggestions for all of your apps so you have labs and this was also present in one ui6 we have side button and you can configure your power button and we have double press option but the camera is not working in this rom so don't set it to camera then we have these motions and gestures and multi window and this is just uh, like the regular stuff here we have digital well-being and it is also same the iconing is icons have been changed device care this all is also same there's no additional options getting into battery and yeah everything seems uh, the same also guys in the battery information the battery information is not uh, correct the battery capacity it says 3700 so yeah it is about the port so and uh, nothing else uh, this is all we have got of the one ui 7 features so guys now let's talk about the stability of this rom this rom is surprisingly quite stable and i must say it is stable than most of the one ui 6 roms like the asset has three one ui 6 roms and it is stable than most of them like some have some extra functionalities like camera working but other than that this rom is superb like i have been using this for a lot of uh, like not days but some hours obviously i had to push this important video first but it has a lot and lot of like things to offer some new things some old things but the experience is at quite par with the one ui6 roms i have used with the galaxy s8 
and also you will enjoy Note 8 uh, the Ultra features the uh, sorry S25 Ultra Note features with the Galaxy Note 8 on this ROM so that is also quite amazing and uh, for everything else I want you guys to use this and let me know how it is down below in the comment section and for any other stuff you can also put the feedback and everything down below in the comment section otherwise the ROM is perfect you have to be grateful to the developer for working so hard towards this and they do all this stuff in their free time so please appreciate their work rather than asking to fix them like fix the bugs or you know other estimated times of you know new updates so yeah stop that appreciate the work give him thanks you know you can join the groups and you know appreciate his work uh stay tuned for his new updates and support him so that means a lot for the developers so i guess guys that's it for the video the like i'm really surprised with the stability so i had to share this with you guys and also guys i exclusively uh, shared this before on instagram so if you're not following me there you have to follow me there also I have made a telegram on topic group so you can join there and join the discussion for videos suggestions and a lot of other stuff also guys I have made my channel membership live it's the basic rupees 29 uh, you get some perks you can read them if you find them and if you want to support the channel it's not mandatory you can go and support the channel through that and also there's an off topic group for all the members so you can like join that and let's meet there and talk about everything else uh you know that is not android that's not tech let's talk about life your personal life like not some extreme personal stuff but yeah just the basic stuff you want to share something you can talk about that in that group so that was it for this uh one ui 7 port for our galaxy s8 s8 plus and note 8 let's take a look at the installation now i know you guys have been waiting for that only but so let's move towards that okay guys before moving towards the installation i would like you guys to know that all the bugs have been present in this rom i could not get a lot like into that i had to push out the review soon but you can check the bug list down below in the description and you can decide if you want to use this but i would recommend please please go and experience this once you will love it if you have your galaxy s8 as a secondary device you will enjoy this rom so let's now move to the installation so guys in order to install this rom you have to power off your device and the good thing is that you can use any custom recovery whether the official tlrp the modified the orange fox recovery you can any uh, you can use any recovery to install this rom so first of all let's boot into that tlrp recovery press the volume up home and the power button at the same time until the logo comes so i'm on the tlrp screen now the first thing you have to do is take a backup before installing so please guys this is the last chance if you don't want to lose your internal storage data back up your device right now okay now you have backed up your device go to install and I recommend you use an SD card because your internal storage is going to get destroyed which means totally wiped out so back up everything before first thing you have to do is install the repartitioner so let's swipe to confirm flash as you can see it is rebooting back into recovery uh, by itself so let it reboot now after the repartition is done uh, let me just adjust the brightness okay so this is good now you have to go into wipe format data and press yes and it will clear all of the data on your device now you have to reboot back into recovery again now guys i have rebooted back into recovery again now you just have to check if any partition is showing any errors to you know mounting like i have the cache partition showing the mounting error so for that you know for any partition you have to go into wipe advanced wipe for example i had it on my uh, first time installation you have to go into repair change file system and choose ext4 do it and the issue will be gone also guys the rom supports data with ext4 and f2fs support so yeah we are going to uh, you know format sorry advanced wipe data 
as you can see mine is ext4 right now so I'm going to change file system f2fs and as you can see I formatted my data to f2fs you can also use ext4 it is also supported so there's no issue with that now right in the last uh, the step is to install the uh, ROM the custom ROM also guys while uh, you know I'm showing you the installation the version has been changed to 1.0.2a now this fixes a lot of uh, you know a lot of uh, people have been facing Wi-Fi issues with the Galaxy Note 8 so that version just fixes that so I thought it was not you know necessary to install uh, like download the whole zip for the Galaxy S8 so if you have a Note 8 use the latest version and I will leave the link for the latest version only so don't worry and let this uh, procedure get finished I will meet you guys after that and guys the ROM has been installed successfully just click on reboot system and it's done you have successfully installed One UI 7 on your Galaxy S8, S8 Plus and the Note 8 and let me show you the boot animation so that like it's a dual boot animation so now as you can see the boot up process has been started that's the boot animation quite static and guys that's it for the video if you enjoyed the video press the like button if not then the dislike button also subscribe my channel for more such videos on our Galaxy S8 and other devices that I have and for all the feedback comments you can post that in the comment section all the download links and every and each uh, thing has been posted down in the description so please do check that properly before installing and before moving towards doing anything so that's it and goodbye guys see you guys in the next video bye bye guys take care